Hi, this is David. In the last video, I showed you how to use Azure Media Services to encode a video. And because I chose the uh, adaptive streaming encoding, it actually resulted in multiple MP4s being created, each with a different resolution. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to sh share those files with the world over the internet. Now remember that this asset appeared here. Here's my original asset. Here is my uh, the output, the output asset of the adaptive streaming. And if I look at the assets, you'll see that there are multiple files in here. Some metadata files and then four different MP4 files, each with a different uh, size right here. So in order to share that here, back on the asset page, the asset details page, what I need to do is go down to streaming URL and click on create new to create a streaming URL. And I can give it a name. I'll call this one. How about uh, David Video Adaptive Locator. I like to be explicit with my names, makes it easier to find later on. And then streaming policy, you can say whether you just want to be able to stream it, to stream it and download it, or just download it. There's some things about security, like adding uh, digital rights management to it if you want to. I'm going to select here, I won't uh, do any DRM on this, but I will allow people to both download and stream the video. Uh, this locator always will have an expiration date. However, by default, that date will be a hundred years in the future. So you could change this if you don't want to you want this to be available just for the next three days, but by default it's available a hundred years from now and who knows where Azure will be a hundred years from now. Um, the rest of this things I typically just leave is empty. I click on add right here and now I have a streaming endpoint but it's not running and I'm going to start it running right here. Start streaming endpoint right here to start it and I want to remember that once it starts running, I get charged extra to make this available. So it's important to remember that because when I'm done, I want to remember to shut it down. There's a little viewer inside of here that shows you what it looks like. Gives you a little preview of that. And that's okay, but not everybody has this interface. They can't log into your account. What you want to do is to share it with others. The simple way I could share that with others is just by clicking this link right here, View Locator. That opens up the streaming URL blade right here. And you can see if I scroll down, you'll see all these different URLs. I'm really interested, first of all, in this download section. And here we've got the JSON file. We've got these MP4 files, JSON, uh, JPEG. So this JPEG, if I copy that to my clipboard and go into another tab right here you can see that's simply a picture it's a screenshot that's going to be rendered in the browser if I didn't have the um, my browser couldn't handle JPEG files it would just download it uh, I also have these mp4 files here and the name of them suggests the size of it 640 by 300 480 by something uh, so this is the biggest one right here so let me copy that one I can open up a browser tab here and play it. Azure Media Services are fun and awesome. So that's right there. I could do that in the browser and that's okay, but a better experience would be to maybe take this and embed it into a web page. Not only embed it into a web page, but give users the opportunity to view it at different resolutions depending upon what their, their the capabilities are of their network and their client and their browser and so on. And the way I can uh, make this available in a nice pretty web page is using this smooth streaming link right here. It ends in slash manifest. Copy that right here to my clipboard and what I have is this right here. Let me open that in code. This right here is a video tag. And what I want to do is add this to the source of the video tag. So this template right here, it's available on my blog right there. If I look search for adding an adaptive Azure Media Services video to a web page, find that from January 20th of 2021 and you'll see this code is actually right down here. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 
this smooth streaming and paste it into the source element, which is a child of the video tag, right here. And once I do that, I'll save it. Now what I can do, so I can just open that up in my browser. Azure Media Services are fun and awesome. And now here it is. It's embedded inside of a web page. And it's more than that. It has just default controls here. You can skin that the way you want. Just add some other styles to it. But look at this. If I click on this, I can, right now it's auto-detecting my connection speed and knows to play it probably at a high resolution because I'm wired in but if I wanted to play it at a lower resolution I could do that select that and it'll just play something the same thing but it'll be just more adapted to what I'm using right here now there's one more thing I want to do and that is to make sure that I stop streaming this because as I mentioned earlier I'm going to pay for it while I'm streaming it and the way that I do that is I go back to my Azure Media Service and I want to go to this Streaming Endpoints tab right here and you'll see that there's only one streaming endpoint it is running right now click on that row it'll bring up some details and as part of the details I have this button right here stop I'll confirm that yes I will now nobody else will be able to get to it after it stopped uh, but the good news is I won't be paying for that because the demo is over in this video I showed you how to take an asset created in Azure Media Services and share that with the world after it's been encoded this is David thank you for watching